Good morning, class. I'm your new teacher, Mr. Miser. No, that's terrible. I don't know why I'm so nervous this morning. I mean...
to get ready for my first day of classes. So I would really appreciate it if you would all just scoop. Tom, you know today's your first day of teaching. That's why we're here. We're here to help you, right? Right. right. Well, really help, because if I look over my lesson plan, it's going to be tough enough already. Tom, it isn't going to be tough. It's going to be easy. Why, when we get done with you, it'll be easy as... It's a magic number. Yes, it is. It's a magic number. Somewhere in the middle of ancient history, you get three. That's a magic number. The past and the present and the future. Faith and hope and charity. The heart and the brain and the body give you three. That's a magic number. Man a woman have a little baby. Yes, they did. They had three in the family. That's a magic number. Three, six, nine. Twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Thirty. Two, that would be. Three, six, nine. Twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 21, 24, 27, 30. Now multiply backwards from 3 times 10. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 7 is 
lot, gregarious, friendly friend. You know, I think I'm starting to understand how I can teach grammar. I can teach it if I just use a little imagination. Right! But I'm not only going to be teaching grammar, I'm also going to be teaching math and science and social studies. Aha! Social studies! Okay, I think I understand your problem, and I believe I can help. Follow me. What are we waiting for, George? My name's not George, it's Bill! I'm just a Bill, yes I'm only a Bill And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill Well, it's a long, long journey to the Capitol City it's a long, long wait while I'm sitting in committee But I know I'll be a law someday At least I hope and pray that's I will But today I'm still just a Bill Gee, Bill, you certainly have a lot of patience and courage Yeah, when I started out, I was leaving a Bill I was just an idea Some folks back home said they wanted a law passed So they called their local congressman and he said, Go oh, right, there ought to be a law. Then he sat me down, broke me out, and introduced me to Congress. And I became a bill. And I'll remain a bill until they decide to make me a law. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I got as far as Capitol Hill. Well, now I'm stuck in committee. And I'll sit here and wait. What well, you keep? Congressmen discuss and debate whether they should let me be a law. How I hope and pray that they will. But today I am still just a bill. Listen to all those congressmen arguing. Is all the discussion and debate about you? Yeah, and I'm one of the lucky ones. Most bills never even get this far. I have to decide to report me favorably. Otherwise, I may die. Die? Yeah, die committee. Oh, but it looks like I'm gonna live. Now I go to the House of Representatives, and they vote on me. What happens if they say yes? Then I go to the Senate, and the whole thing starts all over again. Oh, no. Oh, yes! <laughs> I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And if they vote for me on Capitol Hill, well, then I'm off to the White House where I'll wait in a line with a lot of other bills for the president to sign. And if he signs me, then I'll be a law. The whole Congress says you can be a law. The president can still say no. Yes, that's called a veto. President veto. Then I have to go back to Congress and they vote on me again. But by that time, but by that time, it's very unlikely for you to become a law. It's not easy to become a law, is it? But how I hope and pray that I will. But today I'm still just a bill. He signed you, Bill. Now you're a law. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Favorite ones. I've forgotten how much I've learned on Saturday mornings between bowls of Cocoa Puffs. Don't forget, Tom, it was the schoolhouse rock song that helped us pass Constitution exam. That's right. Entire class full of people singing. Thank you. 
Or? Or hey, what's with all these conjunctions? <laughs> you tell us, Tom! like this and that. And then there's but, that's sort of the opposite. Not this, but that. And then there's or, O-R, when you have a choice like this or that. <laughs> and but no or, gets you pretty far. <laughs> I'm working up two box cars and making them run right. Milk and honey, bread and butter, peas and rice. Hey, Dirty but happy, digging and scratching, loose and you're showing a button or two. He's poor but honest, sad but true. Two cars to one when you say something like this, boys. Either now or later, or no choice. Neither now nor ever. Hate this or that, grow thinner, fat, never, ever, but I do that, I want to be fat. Junction, junction, what's your function? I'm looking up phrases and clauses that bounce like out of the frying pan and into the fire. He called us a sandbag, but the balloon would go any higher. Let's go up to the mountains or down to the seas. You should always say thank you, or at least say please. Junction, junction, what's your conscience? I'm hooking up words and phrases and clauses and complex sentences like in the mornings when I'm usually wide awake, I love to take a walk to the gardens and down by the lake, where I often see a duck and a drake. And I wonder as I walk by just what they'd say if they could speak. Oh, I know, that's an absurd thought. <laughs> junction, junction, what's your function? I'm hooking up cars and making them run right. Junction, junction, how's that function? I like tying up words and phrases and clauses. Junction, junction, what's your function? I'm gonna get you there if you're very careful. Fine, 
to the ones who are going to take us there. Whew, I love that song. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to love riding on trains. Have you ever traveled by plane? Yes. Have you ever traveled by boat? Yes. How about by spaceship? Now, I don't know anyone who has traveled in space. I know someone who has.
Geraldine played hard to get 